All right, thank you, Matt. Breaking news now from the state capitol. We're getting a taste of what the state budget will look like and how our lives will be affected. Moments ago, Governor Lamont's office revealed a few details from tomorrow's big speech. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is live now at the legislative office building with details that will impact every person in our state. Matthew. Yeah, Dennis and Denise, what we received covers a lot. It does not mention tolls, but it does mention groceries. Groceries will not be taxed. Another thing it mentions are things that are streamed, like if you're to download a movie, that could be taxed. But the main thing this tackles are the pensions. Governor Lamont releasing new information tonight about how he plans to restructure the teacher's retirement system and adjust the payment scale. He warns if nothing is done, the annual teacher pension costs could increase by more than $2 billion. So he's proposing reducing the assumed rate of return from 8% to 6.9%. Lamont also wants to adjust the financing schedule to create a new 30-year period. Right now, the majority of the unfunded liability is supposed to be paid out over the next 12 years. That puts a strain on the state when it comes time to pay out. So Lamont is proposing stretching the payment schedule out to 30 years to buy some time. Lamont also plans to establish a special capital reserve fund to meet the requirements of the 2008 pension obligation bonds. It would be funded with $381 million from the 2019 fiscal year surplus. We spoke with Senator Bob Duff and he says this is a solution that should work for teachers as well as the average taxpayer. Flattening out, not having the big spike in a few years, being able to save some money, but they're doing it in a very creative way. Uh, the devil's obviously in the details, but I think it takes uh, this issue, which has really been a, a real problem over the last uh, few years uh, because of decades of underfunding, and actually helps to uh, provide some relief uh, to us in the budget, but also helps make teachers happy in the fact that they feel safe and secure with their pension going forward. Now, there's another part here about health care where the state will negotiate the maximum price it'll pay providers and hospitals. That's expected to save about $50 million each year. Now, we just spoke with Senator, uh, Republican Senator Len Fasano. He says he actually really likes what he heard about the pension reform. He did not like, however, that taxes seem to be increasing. We're going to have much more from him tonight at 11 o'clock. But for now, that's the latest live here at the LOB. Matthew Campbell, Channel 13 News.